What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the next parent function, which is f of x equals x squared. So you probably remember this from grade 10. It is just a regular parabola. And so let's do a review. Let's make a quick table. Let's make this table go from negative two to positive two. So what's negative two squared? That would be positive four. And then negative one squared is one, zero squared is zero, one squared is one, two squared is four. And if you went to negative three and positive three, the y values would be nine, but let's just keep it at negative two for now. So if we take this, if we graph it, and then we'll have one, two, three, four. So notice that we got zero and zero, we got negative one and one, one and one, and then we got two and four, or negative two and four, and then positive two and four. And so this is just a regular parabola like that. Right, so that's how the graph looks for this parent function x squared. Now, what if we were to get the domain and the range? for this function. Well, notice the domain is just XCR, right? There's no limit on the X values. They can go from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So this keeps going on forever. This keeps going on forever. So the X values can be anything from negative infinity to positive infinity. So you could put in this notation or you can say X is an element from negative infinity to positive infinity like that. Either notation works for the domain. Now, what about the range? Notice that the range, all the y values, this is the minimum y value here at a y value of zero. So notice all the y values are greater than or equal to zero. Notice there can't be any negative y values. And that makes sense because any number to the power of two is always either gonna be zero or positive. It can never be negative. Right? So for example, if we plug in negative 4 for x, negative 4 squared is going to be positive 16. So the y values are always 0 or positive. So the way we would show that is we would say y can be anything as long as y is greater than or equal to 0. You don't just want to put y is greater than 0 because notice it can be 0 as well. So you want to put greater than or equal to 0. So that would be the range. Uh, for this function x squared. And if we were to put in this notation, we would say y is an element from zero. You would put a square bracket here because it's inclusive of the zero to positive infinity, right? Whenever it's inclusive of a number, you put a square bracket. When it's not inclusive of a number, you put a circle bracket. And whenever there's a negative infinity or positive infinity, that, uh, that's always gonna have a circle bracket. Right, so y equals x squared, that is the regular parent function, that's the domain and range.